Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Ninjago Ronin REX. There it is, REX set number 70735, 547 pieces. And the first thing that is kind of different about this set is it's a kind of a square formatted box. A lot of times these LEGO boxes are rectangular, you know, meaning it's like this proportion, like right here. This one's not quite completely square. It looks like it's a little bit taller than it is wide, but anyways, it's just a different different size box. I'm sure the contents will be just the same no matter what size box they put it in. So, not quite sure why they chose this particular size box. So, speaking of the contents, there they are. So we have... Um, some instruction books and a sticker sheet in their own bag so I like that because it keeps them from getting all jacked up in the box we have the large elements in their own unnumbered bag so you've got the little flyer element you've got some big wedge bricks and a giant clear windscreen and then a few of the tubes and the little pull string we've got numbered bags here's bag one there's two, bag number three, bag four, and bag five. <clears throat> of course, we're going to begin with bag number one. Two small bags of elements. And another one of these things, whatever they are. All right, so here's our two small bags of elements dumped out. I guess we need some instructions, so let's open this bag up. See what we have in here. There's our medium-sized sticker sheet and two instruction books. All right, we have a minifigure. Let me build it first. I think this is the <clears throat> only minifigure. Nope, it's not the only minifigure in this bag. It does have the light yellow, light yellowish green. Basically the not glow in the dark yellow. It looks like it glows in the dark, but it doesn't. And this is one of my favorite headpieces because it has the trans yellow behind it. And for some reason that head is clutched in there real good. All right, so there's that guy. We have one of the little ghosts that um, they like to carry around a piece of food as well as some sort of weapon. So there's that guy. Once again, these are not glow in the dark. And here's our next figure. These figures have names. We have um, Ronin. This is Ronin that we're building. And the figure I just built was Attila and then the little ghost things are called screamers all right so Ronan it's a single printed face but you can see on the back it has the little strap that goes around for his little eye patch oops what I forgot to put on is he has a a little bandana element. Okay. That goes like that. And he has the cool little farmer's hat. Around. He's got two black swords. And this holder. 
And then he also is going to hold one of the, actually two of these stud launcher guns. There's one, here's two. There is Ronan. Pretty cool looking. I like that figure. All right, so we have them all set up back there. Ronan is a little front heavy with these big guns. <clears throat> so what we're gonna build now is a uh, little dragon for Attila. So before we build the REX, does anybody know what that stands for? It's written on the box. Um, I have not caught up with this season of Ninjago, so I'm not quite sure what the REX stands for. So I'm relying on you, my viewers, to tell me what the REX is. I, mean, I know it's some sort of flying vehicle of some sort. <clears throat> All right, am I missing a piece already? What's going on here? So I have one, two of these. So this little gradient colored flame element has a Technic axle connector. So that goes in the side of that Technic part. Basically gonna make two of these. Just like that. So there's our Reverse this one around like this. There we go. Now they're both kind of facing the same way. smaller one goes like that onto one of these that. There's the tail of the dragon. <clears throat> this dragon's bigger than it looks on the box. The little artwork shows it. Kind of, I guess, in the background behind the, the REX. And it looks smaller. So I definitely was not expecting something of this size. which is kind of the fun that I have building these sets is, you know, dis discoveries like that, where it's like, oh, that's uh, not exactly what I was expecting, or wow, that's, that's bigger than I thought it would be, or wow, 
This is it. I thought it would be bigger. So there's there's always some surprises when you build stuff, and it's definitely uh, fun for me. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What's your favorite part about building sets? Let me know. I'm curious. Is it the end result or is it the process, the actual building of it that entertains you? I find building official Lego sets to be kind of soothing and relaxing. You know, maybe after a long, stressful week at work. The, uh, the process of building a Lego set kind of relieves your mind from other things that you've been dealing with all week. And then whenever I build my own creations, that's another kind of a mind hobby release type thing. Where you, you know, try to figure out the puzzle of how to make something. Alright, so here is our dragon head. Pretty cool little brick built head. And that attaches right there. So there's no legs on this dragon. Go ahead and put this minifigure in there, just like that. Kind of pose the tail a little bit. Cool. So put that to the side, because now we are on to the REX. Start with a couple Technic pieces. So we've got that Technic on there, now we're going to cover it all up with some Lego plates. So you can see how Technic and Lego system stuff integrates real well. It just goes to show how well designed Lego is when you can have stuff of different themes and different types of Lego all integrate together pretty seamlessly at that. A couple more Technic elements and then you can see even this, this Technic pinholes, um, studs actually fit on them, so you can still insert standard Lego stuff onto Technic lift arms and beams. Slide this in here and then push these two long red axles in there. That locks those in place. <coughs> it's going to make it almost impossible to get off, but it's locked in place. It's not going anywhere.
and sheets were kind of sticking together a little bit. this through. There we go. That goes on here. Push that through. All right. Just like that, we're done with bag number one. We have some extra elements. Slide those off to the side. And we're on to bag number two. Small bag and the big bag. So the end of bag one really just kind of left us hanging with this, so not quite sure kind of what we're doing or what this is so we'll just keep on going until we start to see something happen just dumping this bag out I can see there's a lot of technic elements in this one as well Looks like we have our first stickers. Put these two pieces on first. And we have sticker number eight, which is this one. And it's going to go on the inside of this panel. then attach right here. And then this one gets sticker number seven. with um, clear doors on them.
All right, so we're gonna put that down. We have a little sub build to do now. Whoops. There's my one piece I always drop every video. All right, let's start off with these Technic elements. So remember I was saying there's a lot of Technic in this bag. I think that's pretty much all that's left is a lot of Technic. We used the small amount of bricks that were in the bag already. I mean, there's some of these small ones that we're using now, but you'll see the bulk of this little sub build is going to be Technic elements. So we have this beam. Five long axle with a stop. Or slide a bevel gear through. Attach another gear on this end. And one of the tricks with Technic is don't squeeze it in there too tight because you need to make sure there's enough action for it to move around. Pages are still a little stuck. Back up. I actually skipped two steps. Because I skipped over two pages of instructions. Alright, slide this thin left arm into these, or I guess these axles onto this thin left arm. there. I have this long beam. This connector piece there. Now this has a spot to go. There. So you can see the Technic in action there. I'm going to turn this small gear. It's turning that axle. Once again, all this Technic is integrating perfectly in with all the LEGO system elements. Turn this around, slide this on, up there. Side, we're gonna build the other half. It connects these two together.
kind of building it in a slightly different order, but this is the the opposite side of what we built earlier. Looking at the box art, this is the front area of the vehicle, and this is kind of the back area, or middle to back area. Now we have the upholstering piece. Once again, some more Technic elements. connectors. So that completes instruction book number one and part one of this video. So make sure to subscribe, check out my other videos. We're going to split this build up into two parts. So um, check it out. If you um, if it hasn't been uploaded yet, then um, subscribe so you don't miss out on it when it does get uploaded. Thanks again.